Welcome to Purple Bandidos. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated the first of the Elite Four member, Sydney, and in today's episode, we are ready to continue on our adventure. As you can see, we're in a really weird looking meadowy place, but I do love the way they've done this. It just it builds up the atmosphere so much, and it looks like the second door is in front of us. Almost looks like ghosts are flying around. Uh, and they're beginning to open the door almost as if they're recognizing our battling prowess, you know, how good we are. So let's go ahead and make our way into the second Elite Four chamber then. And hey, who's in here? Anybody I know? What's up? What's going on? And whoa, look at that little little skirt going on. What is this? I'm, I'm going to like this one. All right, guys, it looks like we're ready to take on the second Elite Four member. So what do you guys say? We go ahead and challenge her. I am Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained there, I trained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. The bond I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Here we go, Rodri versus... Phoebe, the second Elite Four member, the Ghost Type Master. Whoa, flowers everywhere. Oh man, she is uh, quite a good looking lady there, guys. Let's go ahead and take her on. She's gonna open up the Dust Clops. If you guys remember, I got ourselves another Mega Stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this battle with Dragger, and I think this is gonna be an absolute blast. Let's go ahead and Mega Evolve then. We have Bite ready to go. So here we go, guys, showtime. Time for Dragger to Mega Evolve. Our Altaria Kaiba did it last time. It's time for Dragger to shine. So let's get this battle on its way. And whoa, man. That thing looks huge. What the heck happened to it? It just it just went Super Saiyan. Look at its hair. That thing just went real Super Saiyan. All right, we'll see how much damage we do to these guys. Uh, that was super effective. Not as much as I expected it to, though. So I'm going to go for the Thunder. Maybe the Thunder will do a little more. I expected to do quite a bit on these guys. Come on, knock out this Dust Clops. There we have it. Okay, so this one isn't going to be as easy of a battle as the first one was against Sydney, but I think we'll still be able to do a little something. Sableye. Huh. No, I'm, I'm going to keep it out. I'm going to keep Dragger out until the end of this fight uh, just to see how far we can get. I think this is probably our best call just because we have Bite. But the fact is we're, we do have other Pokemon that can also, you know, pack a punch and do a lot of damage. I'm actually surprised that Dragger didn't get the first move there. That, that was a little weird. Wow, we aren't doing that much. I expected us to do a little more to these Pokemon, uh, but it looks like our bite isn't as effective uh, as I would like it to be. And you know what? I think I'm going to go for a Thunder. I don't want to actually get Phoebe to use her, her potion right now. So maybe the Thunder will knock out the Sableye. Come on, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out! There we have it. It was a crit. I don't know if we would have took it down without that crit, honestly. Uh, that was a little bit of a tough battle. Next up, we have Banette. Huh. All right, guys, Bonnet. I'll take that on. I'll take it on, Bonnet. Uh, maybe we can actually do a little more to this thing. One of these guys have to has to have a little bit of a lower defense here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The lower the, the defense, the better. The more we're gonna do. Oh man, I think the the potion's gonna come out right here. There we go. The full restores out. Good, good, good. I'd rather Phoebe knocks it out now on Bonnet than you know whoever whoever else is gonna come out a stronger Pokemon or something. Let's see. Does she have another one? I don't know. I don't. Wow. We're wasting both of her full restores. She's going to use them both on the Bennett. That's fine by me. Let's go for another one. Hit me with a crit. Hit me with a crit. Hit me with a crit. Oh, no. No way. Okay. I think that's going to be all her full restores done. And with that, we took down Bennett. We're doing some serious work of the Elite Four here. Uh, good call on your guys' part. A lot of you guys told me to put Dragger up in front. So I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, another Bennett. Okay. I'm guessing this one might be a little bit higher level. What? The same exact level? Phoebe, mix it up a little bit. You're making this a little bit too easy right now. It's probably going to have the same defensive stat. Oh my gosh. This is too easy. We're getting burned. I'm not even worried. I'm not worried at all. I'll take the burn as long as we can KO her Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead and knock out this Bennett. And she has one Pokemon left. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and guess it's a ghost type. Who would have thought, right? The ghost type Elite Four member, you know, putting out ghost Pokemon. I know, guys. Almost genius. Almost ingenious. Who would have freaking thought? I don't know. Not me. Last but not least is Dux, Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir. Sounds French. And I think this might be her strongest Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to go for... Uh, let's go for the Bite. 
I don't know how much it'll do to it, but you know, never know. This thing's probably pretty tanky. Yeah, it is tanky. Okay, this is gonna make me nervous. This might actually take us down, um, and it's okay. It's okay. I'm not too worried if it takes us down. Let's see. Who, I, who am I gonna send out against this guy? Who am I gonna send out? I'm pretty sure Tibber has a dark type move. We have Crunch on Tibber. Let's go ahead and send out Tibber against the Dusk Noir. I think that's a very good call. Tibber was the last one I've been training too. Let's go for the Crunch. Come on, Tibber. Do some damage, baby. Do some damage, Tibber. Do some serious. Oh, Tibbs! The Tibbs with the damage. Wow, that was a pretty easy battle. And we gained a level. Cool. I'll take it, guys. Our Pokemon are looking great here in the Elite Four. And with that, we defeated Elite Four Phoebe. Oh, darn. I've got it lost. We received 84-80 for winning. We've defeated the second Elite Four member without too much trouble. There's definitely a bond between your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural at a loss. Yep. I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead. Move on to the next room. All right, guys. With that, looks like we've gone ahead and defeated Phoebe. Uh, and, whoa, that was a pretty easy battle. I think we're having... A pretty easy time with them and look uh, does this look like snow to you I think we know what kind of gym we're headed against next so if you guys have you know any tips on coming up on what's coming up let me know make sure to give this video a like tell me what you guys are thinking let me know what's going on two elite four members down two more to go thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode goodbye